With the virus swallowing the entire film industry whole, there admittedly hasn't been much for me to get behind on. Sure, there's been a few films that have come out in the past few months, and we may talk about those. Lord knows it might be a while before we get something new to talk about. But I'd like to go to our neighbors to the north for a little film I was fortunate enough to see an early peek at. See, I have two close friends who live up in Quebec by the name of Alice and Alex. Awesome peeps. Love them to death. But they've been a buzz for a long time about one specific film. One big Quebecois film that even went on to win the country's most prestigious film award, Antigone. A very loose retelling of the classic Greek tragedy Antigone set in modern day Quebec. The new story concerns a young immigrant girl named Antigone, not Antigone, I don't know why, and what happens when a police altercation results in one of her brothers dead and the other in jail. Deciding she wants to save her sole surviving brother from being in prison, she decides to disguise herself as him and take his place, and to only reveal herself once she's gotten far enough away. From there comes a story of resistance, protest, the power of standing up, and the unfair double standards of the legal system. And God is it special! The cast is fantastic here! Nahima Ritchie is fantastic as Antigone. She's strong in resolve, yet with holes in the armor that pierce through and prove her humanity. She feels pent up, full of emotion, bursting at the seam to speak out, yet reserved enough to hold it all back. And that's a tough mood to pull off, because she feels so lived in as a character that it's hard to not feel like you're just watching someone's life unfold. Rwad El Zine plays Polynice as a sort of idiot with a kind heart, a boy with a desire to be cool and dangerous, but is secretly a puppy dog. That complexity within the character is present in every frame El Zine has on screen. It's beautiful. And Antoine de Rocher is excellent. He sort of plays what could be described as the perfect boyfriend. He's there for Antigone, and you could feel his love and support for her through the way he looks at her. And thus, every act he does in her name feels so authentic that it just warms your heart. There's a real chemistry there, and I would argue it would not be the same with any other actor in the role. The framing, too, is excellent. Sophie Durasp isn't the flashiest director here, but she communicates so much through her control of the frame itself. Whereas distress, power, or bliss, there's something special about the way the film handles its visuals. Blocking two as a concept is often one of the least celebrated parts of directing, but it can make or break a shot, and Durasp is a master at it. It's all in her positioning of her characters and how she moves the camera around them how people are positioned, etc. It all just creates these simple yet effective frames that deliver the message with a real punch. It's not the most flashy film I've ever seen, but in it subtly there's mastery. There's something special about that. However, most important to this film is the story. See, Antigone takes the framework of a young girl standing up to injustice in the name of her brother and elevates it into a commentary about immigration, racism, police violence, and the unfair traps of our modern legal system all within a parable of a story that hits you like a truck with its emotional impact. Emotionally, it manages to be powerful, yet not dour, instead taking a much more down-but-not-out approach to its theming. The film manages to avoid the trap many films fall into, where they feel pessimistic due to their criticalness. Instead, while this film is extremely critical of the systems that are at play here, it gets you to root and cheer for the protagonist and encourages you yourself to stand up in your everyday world to those systems. Because we shouldn't let our voices lay silent, no matter what we face, particularly now. Without us standing up, things will never change. And as they say, silence is violence. And I think that's the main message of this film. The world is full of shit and people are suffering, the solution is to stand up and do something about it. And this film encourages you to do that yourself. And there's something very special about that. Often films from Canada don't get as much love even by the people who watch the foreign scene, but I'm begging you, do not let this film fall through the cracks. It's truly great and in a lot of ways an important message for right now. Sophie Durast's Antigone gets an 8 out of 10. <laughs>